Welcome back to The Ed Show. This is the story for the folks who take a shower after work. For the first time in over 30 years, the Obama administration is reopening federal waters off the East Coast for oil and gas exploration. Now, the decision gives energy companies the green light to begin surveying from the coast of Delaware down the coast of Florida starting next year, paving the way for possible drilling within the next decade. The administration says the move could create thousands of new energy jobs along the East Coast. The question is, at what price? Exploration will be conducted by using sonic cannons to find energy deposits deep beneath the ocean floor. Now, sonic cannons fire sound waves louder than a jet engine every 10 seconds for weeks at a time. Environmentalists say those sound pulses pose a real threat to marine life who rely on hearing to feed, communicate, and navigate. This would affect whales, dolphins, fish, and crabs. Now, aside from the environmental impact, this is going to affect anyone on the East Coast whose job relies on fishing or tourism. The United States Bureau of Ocean Energy Management acknowledged that thousands of sea creatures could be harmed in the exploration process. Folks, we are just talking about the impact of exploration process here. Imagine what's going to happen when the actual drilling starts, if it does. Joining me tonight, Dr. Reese Halter, conservation biologist at Muse College, Muse School, CA, and author of The Insatiable Bark Beetle. Reese, good to have you with us tonight. Uh, this is the first uh, I've heard of this kind of exploration. What kind of long-term impact will these sound cannons have on uh, marine life, as you see it? Good evening, Ed. This is horrendous. Let me tell you why the doctors of the sea, our whales and dolphins, are so vital for the health and well-being of our oceans, our life support system. These filter feeders, the enormous blues and humpbacks, they are fertilizing machines. Their flocculent poo enriches the phytoplankton and stimulates the fisheries. The toothed whales, the colossal sperms and the orcas, the, the, the largest dolphins, they keep their prey in check and they keep it healthy. They cull the old and the weak and they prevent diseases from becoming epidemics. These cannons are going to kill thousands of dolphins and whales. They're going to maim hundreds of thousands of dolphins and whales. And by the way, it's not just the 1,000 miles from Delaware to Florida. These waves will be felt as far as Iceland, as far as Scotland, as North Africa, Portugal, and Spain. This is so ecocide. Okay, so, Doctor, what do these sound waves actually do to the marine life? Does it, does it disrupt their in, in, entire ecosystem? Does it disrupt their, their reproduction? What does it do? It shatters their eardrums. They, they experience the most excruciating death possible. The, those, that, those that are immediately around them, farther away, they lose their hearing. Ed, these are intelligent socially complex, sentient beings that communicate with their own sonar. They send out waves. They have giant brains, seven times larger than a human being's brain, to decipher the waves coming back. And it's not just the whales. We're talking about the, the sharks. We're talking about the uh, immense uh, leatherback, three-quarter of a ton uh, sea turtles. We're talking about the, we're talking about all life. This is a disaster, and we're stalling, man. We know if we're talking about energy, Ed, we're talking about energy, yeah? If we're talking about energy, there were the ocean waves moving to and fro, they generate two terawatts of power. Earthlings use one terawatt of power. While the feds have been dragging their heels, Australia, Spain, Portugal, and Scotland have these wave farms, their pilots are already done. They're going into operational mode, man. We're wasting time, mm. and we're killing the oceans. And if the oceans die, we die. There is no doubt about that. Dr. Reese Halter, we'll have you back to talk more about this. This is very troubling and an under-the-radar story, no doubt about it. Appreciate your time tonight.